Today on MTG Unpacked, our journey through magic history continues. We're starting in 2009 with the OG Zendikar, working our way back to 2007 with 10th edition. So that's basically a core set. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I've actually only opened three packs out of these in the past. Uh, I think it was Zendikar Magic 2010. And I'm gonna say uh, Alara, or oh, Shards of Alara, I think. All right, so let's get into it. Zendikar, and I hope we can get some fetch lands out of this. So let's carefully open the pack. Yeah, this is, I think, the time when the packs are gonna get harder and harder to open. So we'll carefully ease that open. And when did you start playing Magic? Is it this era or earlier or later? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, finally got it open here. So we start off with Adventuring Gear. Giant Scorpion. Savage Silhouette. Soaring Seacliff. Molten Ravager. Beast Hunt. Grim Discovery. Cancel. Demolish, Noble Vestige, and Uncommons, Cobra Trap, Trusty Machete, Quest for the Holy Relic, and the rare is Sadistic Sacrament. Okay, so that's some pretty brutal artwork there, along with a very nice full art mountain and a tip card. I think that's it, yep. All right. On to the next, so we have the 2010 core set. I think I opened a entire booster box of this, so that was fun. Okay, we've got Griffin Sentinel, Cancel, Child of Night, Berserkers of Blood Ridge, Lenoir Elves, Duress, Mist Leopard, Burst of Speed, Horn Turtle, and Uncommon Sarah Angel, very cool artwork there. Righteousness, Alluring Siren, and the rare is Clone. All right, so we've got a shapeshifter here, which uh, shapeshifters have made a return in Kaldheim. Okay, we've got a mountain, a bit about the mana pool, some very helpful tips and tricks there, and a foil Nature's Spiral. Nice one. Let's get some more Lighting on that. All right, so we'll have a separate section for foils. The foil pull rate was much lower in those days. Okay, Alara Reborn coming up next. Let's see if I can get this one open. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Bear with me. I'm trying not to completely destroy the uh, packages. And the cards inside. All right, we have Grixis Grimblade. Soul Manipulation, Quasali Pride Mage, Cat Wizard, okay then. Jund Hackblade, Creature Goblin Berserker, the Dalkin Ghoul, Violent Outburst. <laughs> this has been uh, in the MTG news lately, uh, along with Tybalt's Trickery. So yeah, it's part of a combo in Historic, I believe, or Modern, maybe it's Modern. I think it's Modern, I don't think this one is in Historic. We've got Naya Hushblade, Vectus Dominator, Firewild Border Post, Cathari Remnant for the Uncommons, Vithian Renegades, Null Tread Gargantuan, ooh, and a Random Lizard, okay, and a Swamp, and here's the rare, Wargate, alright. Some cool artwork on that one. And a foil Esper so Sojourners. Bit of a mouthful, some of these card names. All right, Conflux, coming right up. Have never opened a packet of this. Very exciting times indeed. Oh, that one just opened right up. Perfect. Okay, we've got Dark Lit Gargoyle. Unsummon, I've seen that one reprinted, along with this one, our Millery Sphere. Cranioceros, Fairy Mechanist, Absorb Viz, Worldly Council, Might of Alara, Salvage Slasher, Brackwater Elemental, 
Not Divine Mystic for the Uncommons, Scornful Aether Lich, Unstable Frontier, and a Sapling. Okay, nice card ordering. Island and the rare is Guafa Hazid Profiteer. And haven't they reprinted this in something? I think they have. Okay, so we'll pop him down there. All right, next up we have Shards of Alara. So this one, we're now in 2008. Probably a interesting time in magic history. You got the, uh, the uh, market crash and everything, the economy totally tanking. So I'm curious, were you around at that time? What was the magic market looking like then? Let me know. We've got Bone Splinters, Deft Duelist, Savage Hunger, Hissing Iguana, Coma Veil, Soul's Grace, Skeletal Cathari, Bird Skeleton, interesting, Vithian Stinger, Cloud Heath Drake, Branching Bolt, and Uncommon's Tower Gargoyle, Skeleton Eyes, awesome artwork, Rockcaster Platoon, and rare is Titanic Ultimatum with a buttload of mana to cast that one and a mountain and a bit about Grixis and the keyword unearth. Okay, so that is it for that one. So this looks pretty cool. We have Eventide. I'm liking some of the old school pack designs here. And some of you are saying this isn't old school. This is like the middle of uh, magic history right here. All right. Oh, this is a fun looking card. <laughs> We've got a Desecrator Hag. All right. Wickerbo Elder, Cinder Pyromancer, Mero Levitator, Edge of the Divinity, Fang Skulkin. Okay, that's supposed to be a Scarecrow. Grazing Kelpie, Heartlash Cinder, Talara's Bane, Banishing Knack. Sends enlistment. We've got a bird. Okay, so we've got the weird ordering again. Cankerous Thirst. Outrage Shaman. Canker Abomination. And the rare is Glamour Die. Very cool artwork on that one. Okay. So next up, it is Shadow Moor. And I noticed a very different art style with that last one, so I'm guessing, you know, that fits in with the theme. Okay, what do we have? Cinder Haze Wretch, another elemental shaman, Silkbind Fairy, Wonderbrine Rootcutters, Scar, Boggart Arsonist Creature Goblin Rogue, and we'll have to add that one to the Goblin Collection. Presence of Gond, Smash to Smithereens. Speaking of goblins, that was in my uh, modern goblin deck, which is probably worth about five bucks now. Hungry Spriggan, Creature Goblin Warrior. I'm liking this set more and more. Lock Corrigan, Scrap Basket, another Scarecrow there. Scuzzback Scrapper, Creature Goblin Warrior. Apparently, if you want goblins, this is the set for you, okay. Torrent of Souls for the Uncommons, Horde of Bogarts, Creature Goblin. Advice from the Fae, and the rare is Plague of Vermin. Nice, check it out, some cool artwork there. All right, set that aside, and a wolf token. Okay, coming up on Morning Tide. I wonder if there's uh, more goblins in this one. Probably not quite so many as Shadow Moor. I'll have to keep that in mind if I do another Goblin Collection video. I'll have to open some more Shadow Moor, I think. We got Latchkey Fairy, Lunk Errant, a giant warrior, Earth Brawn, Order of the Golden Cricket, Disperse, War Spite Changeling, another shapeshifter there, Hostile Realm, Coordinated Barrage, Negate. Bosk Banneret, Treefolk Shaman, Prickly Boggart, Creature Goblin Rogue, nice! Stink Drinker Bandit, Creature Goblin Rogue, I'm liking this set as well. Sages Dowsing, Warren Weirding, and I saw this was reprinted, I think it was in the list. I actually set this one aside the other day, 
And the rare is Sigil Tracer, not a goblin, alas. And a rules tip for creature types. Okay, so now we are back in 2007, the classic lore one. So I know a lot of people, this is one of their favorite sets. Let's get that open. Okay, we've got a Streambed Aquatex, Merfolk Scout, Stink Drinker, Daredevil, Creature, Goblin Rogue, nice, another one. Nameless Inversion, Battle Wand Oak, Hurly Burly, Plover Knights, Boggart Forager, Creature, Goblin Rogue, Face Volta, Creature, Goblin Warrior, Hunt Down, Giant's Ire, Dawn Fluke, Entangling Trap for the Uncommons, Bent the Core, Pollen Lullaby, and a Goblin Rogue Token! This is fantastic! The Goblin Quotient in this video is off the charts, and the rare is Forced Fruition. Okay, one more pack to go, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so let's get into this. And in case I didn't pop the link up in the corner for the complete playlist for this series, I'll do that right now. I can't remember, it's been so long, there's been so many goblins. Okay, final pack magic here, 10th edition, we have Rampant Growth, Hill Giant. Venerable Monk, Avon Wind Reader, Mass of Ghouls, that's some awesome artwork there, Holy Strength, Fugitive Wizard, Canopy Spider, Contaminated Bond, Treasure Hunter for the Uncommons, Spirit Weaver, Sky Weaver, and Rare is Abundance. Alright, so some nice artwork on that one, and a Forest, and a Tip Card, Parts of the Turn. And, okay, add there, and we also get a foil, nice, foil terror. Check it out, I can't remember if I had that in my Creepiest Magic Cards video. I'll pop a link in the corner to that one. Look at that foilage, fantastic. Alright, so there we have it. So part 7 is over, so we are now over halfway through the series. Stay tuned for more juicy goodness this time next week. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.